It is I, Tantus Nara Van Jacobin, Lord Emperor of the Jacobin Empire, and welcome. It is time to continue our discussion on the fourth edition of Shadowrun. Before we last left off, we've been talking about the wireless world and the Matrix, and guess what we started talking about? Drones and rigging. So let's talk more about drones. So there are the basic types of drones, and the fact that vehicles, which can oftentimes be used as drones. The big difference between your basic drone and anything else is that a drone itself has been adapted for rigor adaptability. Basically, it's made that, it's that a rigor can control it just the same way as most other drones. That's something that can happen to a vehicle that you make it that you can control it like this. Most of the time that you have a drone, it traditionally, especially if it has this rigor adaptability, will have a pilot program put into it, effectively giving it a simple AI, a simple intelligence that allows it to follow your basic orders. There are two kind of groupings now. If you have a drone which is not adapted for carrying any kind of pilot or passenger, then the fact is this drone will normally be rigor adaptable. It'll already set up for this, that your rigor can use it. That's the normal kind of people that do nowadays. It, not in the current timeline of Shadowrun. Larger vehicles or drones which are made to carry passengers traditionally don't have this rigor adaptability installed into them. But it is a simple procedure that a mechanic, the manufacturer, or even the rigor themselves can add the adaptability to this vehicle or large-scale drone. Now, to manipulate a drone, a rigor has to, of course, first be subscribed to that drone. Once they are subscribed to that drone, they themselves can add the drone to their own subscription list. They can then issue orders and commands to that drone, and it will obey it to the best, of course, its pilot AI allows it to follow. A rigger can mul link multiple drone subscriptions to a single device. Effectively, they can link a bunch of subscriptions together for a bunch of different drones. The big disadvantage about this entire process, though you can have a whole bunch of drones controlled by you, is that all of these drones obey the same order one order for all of them at the same time. Now you can actually have the drones subscribe to each other and the process of doing this allows them to share data. The reason you do this is then that they could coordinate their attacks or their coordinate attacks if you give them orders to do either of these things. They basically can work together as a single unit, which makes up for the fact if you're using them as a single unit and giving them a single order. Now a rigger can use a complex action and full VR to jump into a drone. Basically they get full control of it and they use this drone's sensors as their eyes, the drone's body as their own body and become an embodiment of that very drone. This is a full VR technique. Now the fact is that they can still issue commands to the other drones just like before, but now they are connected to this drone intrinsically. A controlled drone like this acts on the rigger's initiative instead of the drone's initiative, and uses then the rigger's skills and attributes when it comes to the various tests that it can be making. Again, this is assuming that it doesn't have a phys this is assuming that it's all the based skills that are based around, of course, the rigger's persona itself. Physical body will still be that of the drones and use those attributes as necessary. So there is this sort of combination between the two of them. It's just that now you have the embodiment of you taking over this drone using your abilities, using your brain, and those abilities for the very skills that the drone can do. There are some intrinsic dangers to this that do exist, especially for hot sim users. Hot sim users have to worry. If a drone takes damage and you're hot simming it, you will take half as much damage as the drone takes. Now this will be of course in stun damage. And the rigor in hot sim can resist this damage by using by making a willpower plus biofeedback test, basically attempting to absorb the damage. If you are in hot sim and the drone that you're basically controlling gets destroyed though, you are instantly dumped from the matrix and you will suffer the effects of dump shock. You get dumped, you get dump shock. Now it is also possible to link a security system or component in a code support, co 
a component in a security system to rigor adaptability. How this will tend to work is that a security hacker will directly interface them themselves with a central node of security. This functions much the same way as the hacker slash rigor diving into a drone and basically controlling it. Though in this case, they're diving directly into this central node. When this occurs, effectively the entire security system becomes an essential extension of their body. Opening and closing of doors, they'll kind of sense when it's happening as this little tingle. If a sensor gets tripped somewhere, they might feel something kind of in their fingers. And as soon as a large-scale alarm is sounded, it will echo in their heads. Effectively, the very system of security becomes an extension of their body. All the cameras are basically their eyes. They can see anywhere at a time, focusing on one here and there, checking for you. So this, in fact, can make it that security systems can be even more dangerous because you never know when a hacker is actually connected with it and paying attention to what's going on to it. Now, as I said before, you will be seeing through a drone's eyes should you be connected deep within it and basically rigging as controlling it. When this happens, if you need to make perception, you would roll your drone's sensor plus your perception. Effectively, you'd use your skill matched with the drone's actual physical eyes to give you an idea of what you can see. A drone that is controlled by its pilot program will use its own sensor plus its clear soft programming if it has clear soft. If it does not have clear soft, then it will only use its own sensor. So it depends on if it has the programming in order to use those sensors a little better or not. That's rig drone program. So that's it for today. Today I talked a little bit more about drones. I first talked about the general control of drones, what you're going to need, rigor adaptability, which can work on basically the normal actual drones that you may purchase, or you can put it in vehicles and basically turn them into giant drones, which can drive people. Now I did go over the fact that most of, that you're going to install a pilot program into anything that you've rigor adapted. Basically you're going to have it that it's able to control itself if necessary. But then, you, if you wanted to do it that, you subscribe to it, you give it orders, you give it information, it will basically respond the best of it can to its dog brain pilot program AI. And you can link them together for a bunch of drones to work together, because if you subscribe to more than one, they all on the same device, they're all being controlled by you at the same time. Now, I did talk about diving into one of these drones and controlling it directly, using its body as your own, its sensors as your own, basically as your eyes, and functioning like that. That's a complex action to start that. You do have to worry about it taking damage if you're in hot sim, because you'll feel that too, or if it's destroyed, you're dump shopped from the matrix. And then, of course, I finished up by talking about diving in and controlling security systems from the central node, and a little bit about the perception that you're going to have in the real world using the sensors of the drone that you might be diving into. In the next episode, we're gonna finish up talking about drones and their actions and the programs that they can use. Finish, hopefully finishing up talking about the wireless world. But if you have any questions, comments, anything you wanna say, anything think I left out, please just leave in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It should support the channel, the empire of the work I do. If you wanna show some extra support, you can always check out my Patreon, link description below. Some few great rewards and helps me improve the channel overall please if you consider that check that out but regardless until the next time i bid you farewell